Oh, here we are. I just finished all the prep work for the curry. We're pretty much going to stick to the recipe. I mean, I always make a few little changes. This recipe doesn't call for fish sauce or peanut butter. I'll be using both today. But to start the show, we've got a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of coconut oil in this pan. It looks like it's just coming to heat. And after just another moment, we're going to toss these carrots and onions in and give them just about five minutes. Uh, we got a great coconut smell coming from these carrots right here. Uh, give them a little stir. And like I said before, give them just about five minutes. All right, and while that's giving a sizzle, then we're going to dice up about two of these chicken breasts. All right, so I'm actually going to cook this chicken separate from the veggies just to minimize cross-contamination and I'm also going to put a lid on this to make sure we can get the interior of all these little pieces of chicken fully cooked and this should be ready to combine these two in about five minutes alright I've got the dinner separated into two different pans I've got it on medium heat and now I'm going to add the aromatics, that would be the garlic and the ginger and the curry and some cilantro and we'll give that about three or four minutes and then we'll add the coconut milk. Alright, after just two or three minutes it's going to be very fragrant. It smells great. It's time to add the secret ingredient. We're going to stir in some creamy peanut butter. And some unsweetened coconut milk. Ooh, sorry. And the juice of a lime and we're gonna bring this back up to heat and simmer it for a good 15 or 20 minutes until the chickens tender and fully cooked and then we'll take the next step oh about five minutes of simmering we got more secret ingredients we're gonna add several dashes of that fish sauce you definitely want to do that to taste not everybody likes it and also a nice healthy scoop of brown sugar. And we're going to store that in, let it incorporate, and keep that simmering for about another 10 minutes. And here we are plating it up for dinner. I usually have mine over white rice. Oh, does that smell good. Don't forget to garnish with the uh, crushed cashews and the cilantro and the side of lime. Fantastic. <laughs>